guys, Brian back here. I hope everybody is having a good August 1st. Hard to believe, isn't it? August the 1st. I mean, this summer has just flown by. Um, holy cow. Seems like a couple months ago it was snowing, and then a couple more months it is going to be snowing again. I'm on the east coast of the of, uh, United States, and um, boy, oh boy, I just hate summer going. I'm not a much of a winter fan. Um, I don't know. Hopefully... Uh, Hopefully it's an easy uh, winter, but let's not talk about that right now. It's August the 1st. We still got summer left. We got August, September, you know, and October. It starts turning a little bit, but um, let's just enjoy the rest of the summer we got. Let's be fortunate we're still in summer, and uh, let's just enjoy it. And, uh, here to talk about my favorite coin, Cospa, and uh, looks like we are starting to make that charge, guys. We're up here. You know, if we put a Fibonacci on this move right where we're at now, you know, we're getting way up through there. You know, we're up pat through all the Fibonacci levels. Just trying to attack that point zero four zero two, that last level of uh, resistance area up there that we're bashing into. If we close in here a little bit, you can see that right there. We just want to bust through that. I got something to show you guys real quick before I forget this, okay? This is the Coinex chart, all right? It is showing us falling just a little bit short of an all-time high all right now if i go over uh to mexi the, I, I love this site i really do you know I, I just don't say that because i i uh, have a link in the description of the video i really do love mexi i use it every single day i love trading on it um it's fun it's easy if, if you're not familiar with trading go over and set up a paper account and practice this is what a paper account looks like right here. I'm going to show you real quick. Um, the regular account looks like this to open up a trade. Okay, this is what I, I just created real quick to, uh, to show you guys what they look like for yesterday. I did it actually. And the paper account, um, the paper trading looks just like it. Okay. Um, Boy, I wish it would load up here. Got too much stuff open on my window here. Let me reload that while we're, uh, while we're messing around here. It should reload pretty quick. Oh, yeah, here we go. But it, it looks just like the regular trading account. See? All right, there's uh, what's in here. Should be 60. No, that's the other one. I'm sorry. Is this the paper trading? Which one's the paper trading here? That's the demo. Oh, test net. There we go. I'm sorry. Yeah, sixty-three thousand dollars in this one. It's a test net. It looks exactly the same as the regular trading one does. Okay, regular trade. Reg regular trading right there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's your how much you can bet right there 73% of your max 25% okay you can go market or you can go limit order uh, just hit open short open long put your stop loss and take profit in down here it's that simple it's the, the, the practice one just lo looks exactly like uh, the regular there's the test net exactly there's your wallet up there market or limit open long open short and you can uh, you can use all the same tools you use in trading view and what I actually do I use my trading view for my charts and then I come over here and open open my longs and shorts I just like I like looking at a chart you know like this uh, you know that I can uh, use my whole page on like that rather than going over there and using a little chart so I'll use uh, you know Mexi's charts over there when I'm trading and uh, but you know I don't know if you're interested to use the link in the description of the video and go check it out I, I, I enjoy it you know it's a lot of fun to throw in 20 bucks you know and just practice or use the test net so you, you don't cost you a dime you know to sign up in the US you'll need a VPN or you'll have to do the KYC and uh, Oh, then all you need is a uh, password and an email if you use a VPN. That, that's all you need. Nothing else ever. You know, I, I love it. I love Mexi. It's, it's fair. I used KuCoin for years, and uh, I switched over when they started with all the other uh, 
Uh, not that I'm trying to avoid anything. I pay my taxes, but the KYC stuff, I just moved over to Mexi, and uh, I, I just enjoy it much more over there. So, anyway, all right, let's get uh, let's take a quick look at the bubbles, and I got some exciting stuff to show you guys. Look at this. Um, where is it? Oh, geez, shoot. Hold on one second. I apologize. See, I started this video, and uh, I ended up. Um, screwing it up so I had to start it over again I apologize this will take a second seems like I'm only screwing something up here jeez but anyway whatever right you know that's part of being human we're all human nobody's perfect if you make perfect videos out there I congratulate you you know mine aren't I wish they were but they're not but check this out guys how cool is this the funding pool to raise thirty thousand uh, dollars, it's done. Total raised thirty thousand four hundred eighty-one bucks out of thirty thousand needed. So here we go. We have a top five exchange listing coming. Uh, this was put out. Uh, RV Crypto put this one out. Um, the Cospa community never seems to disappoint. Thirty thousand dollars raised in forty-eight hours. Anyone can call it whatever they want, but a community that's giving their own money to help this project is the best community, period. Happy to be able to do my part. Oh, way to go, RV Crypto. What a great post. Yep. How about that? The money's raised, so we have a top five listing coming. Will it be Coinbase? Will it be Binance? I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out, but uh, that's pretty exciting for sure. So that is over with. That is done. Uh, did I show the crypto bubbles? Here they are. Uh, we got Maker, uh, FXS. What is that? Frax Share. Huh. The rank number 89. Never really heard of that one. Never really looked into it. So there's Cospa. We are ranked number 54 on uh, on here. So that's great. And, and somebody did comment uh, Coin Market Cap is owned by Binance. Okay. So that's why. Uh, we're not listed in the top 100. Thank you for that response. I apologize. I'll have to look you up and give you a shout out for that. But thank you very much for answering that. That's driven me crazy. Uh, last hour, here's the crypto bubbles. Um, where's our coin? Where's Cospat? Here, the last hour. I don't know if it's right there. Minus 0.7%. Uh, okay, so let's move on here. Let's look at these other charts really quick. Got a couple things to show you guys. Bitcoin dominance, that thing is just playing its little game. Um, kind of, you know, we got that weekly just about reset here with the uh, the RSI. Look at that. But look how high it is still down here. It's still at a 61 down on the regular RSI. So I'm expecting if, if this thing passes that 50.8, that's the 702 Fib level. If it passes that, then I'm kind of expecting it to go higher than that, all right? But we'll see if it does. Right there is a Fibonacci on there. The green line is right at the 702. I am, uh, let's, well, I guess I shouldn't say I'm expecting it. I'm hoping of a, um, would move that up just a hair. There we go. Let's lock that there. I'm hoping that uh, an ABC is coming in here, okay? Which would, uh, let's see here. It would give us our A down to here, or B up to the 702. Then our C leg would come down, down here, right there. All right, we'll lock that there, which lines up. I mean, this one, the weekly, look at the support through here. So it plays out right on paper. We'll have to see how it works out otherwise, all right? But we got that weekly RSI about reset, the daily. Look how fast that daily is going up. Two days, it's going up to a 69 already. Look at that, straight up. So that's a good sign, uh, good sign there. If it was going a lot slower and cranking up there, we'd have to worry about that. And we're going to start a trend line on this because uh, right here, there we go. We'll put that on there, leave it on there, and see if it... Uh, to, to, pro, to follow our uh, our trend here and see if it uh, once it breaks trend it's going to be doing something different so Bitcoin look at this look at this wick on this thing if you go in on the hourly and this happened like I think it was someone said it was a one minute candle or something 
you know, let's go into here and let's go to the five minute woods. This wick, okay, this one here would all the way down to 28, 4. This one here, look at that. And we're on, that's the five minute candles. There's the one minute. Can we go back to that? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. That's a one minute candle it wicked down there. I heard somebody say that uh, earlier today, or I read it or something. In one minute, it went from 28.8 down to 28.480. In one minute. That's crazy. Well, all right, but anyway, Bitcoin, let's get readjusted here, that kind of, uh, let's see where we're at here, so there we go, get back over where we belong, the four hour RSI is heading up, and you can see we regained everything, we wicked down there, okay, and then we came back and broke back out of that resistance again, we'll see if this time, hopefully it's not a fake out again, and, uh, we need to break that uh, 29. We are breaking up through it. A 29, 250-ish area. We need that would but that flip this back into support, like right up through here. Okay, flip this line. So that's our first battle. Then one after that's up at 29, nine, uh, 900. So Bitcoin on the eight hour, just starting up. The 12 hour uh, is turning back up, and the daily uh, is. Actually, the dailies flip bearish there, but uh, that'll change. Look at that big wick. Look at the buyers stepping in right there. It's almost like, uh, you know, the market makers, they push it down there, you know, so their, uh, their big whale buddies can snag it right there. You know, you pick up 10 or 20 Bitcoin down there or 100 or whatever, that's a big savings, you know, and then they pull it right back up there. Look at that wick. You just don't... That's crazy. That is one uh, impressive wick. That's what you like to see, okay? You don't want to see the wick on the top side because that's selling pressure. That's buyers coming in right there and, uh, and buying that dip up. So that's good to see. Uh, the Dixie, boy, this thing pulled an unexpected move today. Look at that. It bounced up above that 102 area. Um, it has gotten up above that. That daily RSI is right at the top. Uh, the weekly is actually just heading up. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on this as far as the Fib goes too. I'm gonna put a Fibonacci on that thing. And uh, boy, look at that. That 702 is gonna come in right at that uh, horizontal parallel resistance there. Let's put a two on that. It's going to come in right on that resistance. We'll have to see if it breaks that 702 or not. But the weekly's heading up. The daily's at the top. The 12 hour, wow, it's pegged out 99, 98. The 8 hour, uh, same deal, right at the top. But it looks like it might have broke. Uh, if it broke through that 102 and now it's back testing it as support, you got to break through the back test and then head back up. That could be what's happening here. Uh, that four hours probably coming down yep uh but geez it just started down so we'll have to see if it holds there or not could pull hold the whole way back down here to 1018 that's a good support area but uh that 102 area was the one we were hoping to hold so it did bust through there uh if we come down here the total crypto cap is now 1.7 billion and the total too without uh, Bitcoin is down 1.8. Just that they're only down 0.15%, uh, 0.32%. So, all right, let's get a look at that COSPA. The crowdfunding is completed. That is super exciting. I can't wait to the, uh, the announcement of the exchange we're gonna be on here. So let's get this back on the daily here. Another thing I was pointing out earlier, um, look at our, these are weekly closes. Look at their, we have solid closes up here. These were just wicks over here. So that's a good sign too, showing more strength on this side over here, okay? Now, if we go over, back over to this previous, when we got to this, all, this high over here before, our daily was right to the top. Okay, when we, when we got here. And then we started down the other side. That's another good thing here. Okay, our daily is just starting over here. 
and we're just, we're just about ready to, uh, to retest uh, that all-time high and our daily is just starting. Like I said, back over here, we were already the whole way at the top. We were up in the, at 100 over here when we set this high. So that's a good thing over here too. This trend base bib could get blown right out of the water. This thing could end up blasting right through there. So we'll just have to see, all right? Uh, the weekly, uh, that weekly is right at the top. Same spot it was over here, okay? This over here, you can see, watch the number right down through here. When we set that all time high, it was at a 100 and a 94. All right, right now it's at a 89 and an 86. Okay, so uh, it's still bullish. 89 and 86, it's still bullish for this push on this weekly, daily. Just heading up 27 and a 15. The 12 hour, uh, just get near the top. Eight hour, uh, still bullish. 78, 76, still plenty of room. Okay, the uh, four. Uh, still heading up 91 and an 80 and the one hour is at the top. Okay, what did the see how high we were down here? Okay, what did we get to there about roughly a uh, 80 all right, so yeah expect it to be taking out this uh, 0 0.0405 here pretty soon. I would expect to move out of this thing real soon here Let's see the four hour if we've broken any we still have a trend line going on this thing right up through here. I'm going to keep track of that too, okay? It can pull right down to it. Let's see, we get it perfect on there, okay? All right, over here was our high. We're going to mark, in fact, let's put that right there. Double that up. That was our high for this side here, just so I have an easier time. Uh, keeping track of this thing now this trend line as long as this thing this thing can come back down bounce on it bounce on it you know just as long as it keeps on this trend line here i'm happy all right one thing i don't want to see i don't want to see it break through this trend line all right and then come up and retest it and roll over that ain't going to happen until we break this high over here it's a question if we're going to break this blue line up here that 0 0.044 that's going to be the big test here okay but like i said that four hour getting close to the top could make a run here the eight hour uh still heading up 12 hour still heading up and that daily has just started all right so uh uh get ready guys it's about ready to get really exciting crowdfunding is completed that is massive if they come out tomorrow if cosmo comes out tomorrow and announces we're getting listed on binance or uh coinbase or some it's a it's a top five exchange okay if they come out tomorrow with an announcement that we're getting listed they already had a deal set apparently with a company to get this done uh they just had to come up with the thirty thousand uh thirty thousand to do it so uh um We'll see that maybe it'll come out tomorrow and this will set this thing flying. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. Please hit the like and subscribe and please consider becoming a member of the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.